Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So as you may see from all the videos I upload, I just started collecting teddy bears. And uh, I'm going to show you today a little, actually, I'm going to tell you a little story about what happened to me. And uh, I thought this was an antique teddy bear. It was on eBay. And somebody from Canada was selling it and said, antique teddy bear. And it had like a buy it now of like 40 bucks. And I said, wow, look at this really old bear. Oh my God, it's 40 bucks. And so I was just starting out collecting and I really thought this was an old bear. As you can see from the nose, it's pretty threadbare. It has what looks like shoe button eyes. It has scraggly looking mohair. So I said, oh my goodness, it's an antique for only 40 bucks. And so I had to pay also another like 20 bucks to have it shipped to me here in, uh, on Long Island in New York. And I couldn't wait to get it. And I was so excited. And when it came and I opened up the box, my heart sunk because I had a feeling this was not an antique bear. And the person's description was lacking and it didn't describe very much about it. It just said antique bear. And so I knew right away that I uh, pretty much screwed up and uh, in thinking this was an antique. Um, here's one way to tell uh, the eyes. So they look very old, right? They look like those shoe button eyes from those old boots. And the problem is, is that they're plastic. Yes, plastic. And if you don't know, plastic wasn't really commercialized until sometime in the late 40s and the 1950s. So anything from before that was generally made of rubber and uh, the old shoe buttons were made out of glass or leather. So that's one way of telling. The other way of telling is when I squeeze the bear, it's soft, yep. And old teddy bears were stuffed with something called straw or excelsia, and excuse the wind, and it has like a crunchy sound. So when you squeeze the bear, you'll hear crunching and you'll feel something crunchy inside there. Now this is just cotton, good old cotton polyester. So that's another telltale sign. Uh, another thing is the paw pads. As you can see, the paw pads look like velvet, but I thought this was real velvet from the seller's pictures, but it's just synthetic fabric. And usually on the older teddy bears, they use more natural fabrics like cottons and wool and stuff like that. Another thing, I thought this was mohair. Turns out it's acrylic plush. And it looks like it's mohair, but it's really not. It's just some kind of like rayon synthetic man-made fabric. So, yep, I was uh, really disappointed, but I didn't get mad at the seller because the seller didn't know as well. And so I kept the bear as a sort of reminder of how if you don't do your homework and you don't pay attention and uh, you think something is too good to be, I mean, if something is too good to be true, for example, 40 bucks, an antique bear, then most likely it is too good to be true. So if uh, you're buying antique bears, uh, just be careful, or antiques in general. Uh, ask more questions of the seller. Find out what makes it, what makes an antique or a vintage item authentic, and what are the telltale signs that it's not authentic. And uh, so hopefully you won't make the same dumb mistake I did and pay $60 for something probably worth 20 so once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And this teddy bear is going to stick around with me for quite a while to remind me of how stupid I was. Thanks for watching.